I planted things that would provide me with food. I easily get 200 plus oranges off it in a year. And even in a poor year like this, where it struggles and the fruit is smaller, um, it still tastes good, it still provides me with food. To Henderson local Susan Ritter, the benefit of trees in the heat is obvious. I can tell you that even when it's 115, 120 degrees here, I can stick my hand in the canopy of this orange tree and immediate cooling, immediate cooling to my arm. Trees work to reduce the heat we feel in two ways. The first is through the shade, which reduces surface temperature. The second is through a process called transpiration. And as I found out, that cooling power does more for us here in Las Vegas than any other city in America. Think of a tree as a an actual straw hub that is dipped into the, the glass of water that is just the soil and the ground water. And the suction is the dryness in the air. So the drier the air is, the more water is being pulled out of the soil through the tree, out into the leaves and cooling the air. Ecologist Peter Ibsen did a nationwide study and found that when it comes to trees, our desert valley gets the most bang for our buck. In the hottest, driest cities and Las Vegas being the hottest, driest one, the trees are cooling air temperature far beyond what they are doing in the humid cities. To the tune of at least eight degrees, and that number can get even higher the hotter it gets. Um, and during a heat wave, you can add on an extra degree for more tree canopy. We're talking about degrees of difference. Why in a warming world do we need to be looking at degrees of difference? What we would really like to impart is trees and vegetation do take these degrees down, but they shouldn't be considered the only method to reduce temperature. They are a tool in sort of a heat mitigation toolkit. And all tools come with a cost. The cost of vegetation is water. Obviously we have water challenges here, but we need to balance that with uh, the urban canopy that we still need to keep. Susan volunteers for Nevada Plants, a tree planting nonprofit. Over 1,700 trees we've planted and given out. She says even as we march into winter. Oh, now's the time to plant. Now's the time to replace things. Now's to think about, you know, what in your landscape you want um, for that cooling for the next summer. Reporting in Las Vegas, I'm Geneva Zoltek.